Tell your story. Change the conversation. Organized by students. TEDx Youth at SHC. In the beginning, we all came from the sea. Every single person in this room has evolved from a small, ocean-dwelling organism. Salt water innately runs through our veins, and it defines who we are as humans. For as long as I can remember, I've been obsessed with the ocean. While other kids ran to sandboxes and swings, I pulled on my wetsuit and played in my own cold, salty playground. The ocean was a place where I could be myself, because when you are swimming and surrounded by such a powerful force of natural energy, there isn't a negative thought or feeling of stress in your entire body. The ocean was and is a place of refuge for me, and my connection to the sea only grew deeper when I was introduced to the sport of surfing. Yet at the time, I had no idea this new sport would completely change my life. My relationship with surfing is a love story that begins in early summer in my elementary school years. My dad decided I was old enough to take part in his coveted Dawn Patrol surf sessions, and we headed out to Stinson Beach with a foamy wave storm, our trusty Costco brand surfboard strapped to the roof of our car. In the beginning, it was difficult, as most new things are. After many failed attempts and definitely a few tears, I managed to get to my feet. The rush I got was incredible. The complete freedom and joy surfing gave me was unlike anything I had ever experienced. And from that moment on, I was 100% and completely hooked. It's now many years later, and that, that amazing feeling still hasn't seemed to wear off. I decided it was my duty to share this experience. I couldn't keep something this amazing all to myself, right? I needed others to feel the unexplainable joy you get from riding a wave into shore. So last summer, I decided to work as a silt counselor at City Surf Project. Now, CSP is a nonprofit organization that connects inner city kids to the ocean and to themselves through surfing. Every week, we brought a new youth group out to the ocean, many of them from underserved districts in our Bay Area community. My main goal when joining this program was to create awesome summer memories for kids who typically don't get to see the sea and to share surfing. But as time went on, I realized my experience would turn into so much more. Many of these kids had never seen the ocean, let alone touched a wetsuit or a board. Now let that sink in. We live in San Francisco, a city almost completely surrounded by water, but these kids had never seen the ocean. Over the course of my summer, I witnessed shy, untrust untrusting kids blossom into confident and outgoing individuals, all catalyzed by their experiences with surfing. Surfing gave these children an opportunity to escape and, and participate in a completely natural, immersive activity. Surfing changes mindsets. Even though I personally had experienced the power of surfing in my life, I was shocked to see how quickly it was changing these children's lives too. My work at CSP inspired me to research the possible benefits that surfing could have for other at-risk groups and challenged individuals within our communities. And the results I got were astonishing. First, I discovered the Mowili Ola Foundation. This is an organization that works with children suffering from cystic fibrosis and has found that surfing helps relieve their symptoms. The ocean has powerful medicinal qualities as it is high in saline, which opens up their lungs and clears out the mucus that blocks their airways. Next, I found the Surfing Heals Foundation. This foundation partners with children with autism and has found that surfing is a new calming therapy for these kids. Surfing instills confidence and calm in children who typically live lives stuck in chaos and sensory overload. The movements of the sea and the relaxation of sitting on a board with a kind instructor have proven it to be more powerful for some than any type of therapy. Finally, I discovered Operation Surf. This is an organization that connects wounded veterans, many of whom, many of whom suffer from severe PTSD and physical disabilities, to the ocean. Surfing provides a new outlook and a positive challenge for these people. A sad statistic is that 19 veterans commit suicide per day. But Operation Surf is changing this number and giving these people something to live for. An amazing example of this came from one of the original participants in this program. 
The man was severely depressed and had planned to go surfing as a last activity before ending his life later that day. He tried surfing, and his entire world changed. His depression lessened, and his outlook on life was completely altered. He explained, you can't kill yourself today if you want to know what the waves look like tomorrow. That quote spoke to me. It exemplifies the sheer power and magnitude surfing can have on not only improving a life, but saving one. I was truly moved by the work these organizations were doing. And through my research, a question emerged. What's the common link? What makes surfing able to simultaneously heal a wounded veteran, a child with cystic fibrosis, an autistic toddler, and a teenager from an inner city neighborhood all at the same time? Surfing heals the whole person, mentally, physically, and spiritually. And by doing so, it has bettered the lives of any individual who have given it a try. Mentally, Surfing is one of the most challenging and rewarding exercises you can participate in. Every single time you get knocked down, you have to get back up. There's no option. You're in the middle of the ocean. This creates an attitude of extreme determination, one that translates into daily life and allows you to take more risks. For anyone stuck in a mental rut or just needing a change and a new outlook in their lives, Surfing provides the perfect medium to get you out of your normal comfort zone and give yourself a challenge. Perhaps one of the most amazing things about surfing is that it also creates a completely equal ground. When you're out in the water, nobody sees size, wealth, color, or ability. You see a person wearing a black wetsuit sitting on a wooden board. Physically, not only is surfing a taxing full-body workout and one of the most demanding sports to participate in, but it also has incredibly calming and healing effects. The movement of the ocean beneath the board is a unique and soothing feeling that relieves stress incredibly. Surfing physically grounds you to the environment. There are not many other sports that require you to be so acutely in touch with your surroundings. Being out in the ocean revitalizes you in a way nothing else can. A mix of the cold shocking your system, the salt clearing your skin, and the current forcing against your muscles tires you out in the best way possible. Trust me, coming out of a long session with wet, salty hair, sore shoulders, and a huge chafe mark on your neck might not seem like the vibe right now, but after you start surfing, you come to understand that that version of yourself is the best one yet. Surfing is a spiritual experience that has the capability of turning lives around. Putting yourself in a position where you are completely out of control regarding your environment, yet so incredibly in control of yourself, gives you a rush and a sense of calm and zen simultaneously that is unlike anything else in your life. You're hyper-aware of everything going on around you. The sun, the ocean, the other surfers, they're all in the front of your brain. Yet you're lulled to a sense of blissful joy by purely just being out in the water. You no longer work by as an individual. Now you work in parallel with nature. You become part of a movement comprised of surfers, sand, and sea. Everyone in this room has a commonality. We all have problems. No matter how big or small, they impact us and they set obstacles in our way. I'm giving you guys a way out, a way to ease or even totally get rid of these problems, the ocean. I want to inspire you all to embrace the ocean and everything it provides. We live in San Francisco. The vast and beautiful Pacific Ocean is practically in our backyards, and I challenge every person in this room to give it a chance to heal and better your life. I'm not asking anybody to quit their jobs right after this event and become a surf bum, but if every single one of you can spare two hours on a Sunday afternoon and head out to a beach, I promise you, your entire world will change. We all came from the sea, and now I'm asking you to return to it and see for yourself the beauty and peace it will bring to your life. Thank you.